Green Home Energy TV. Hey everybody, this is Mark Bacak again with another episode of Green Home Energy TV. I'm currently on my way to uh, another energy audit that we're conducting in Pontiac. We're working again with Todd and Kelly from Michigan Turnkey, uh, and they are going to be uh, doing another green hab on another rental property that they just purchased. Um, so we're going to start that whole process off with a comprehensive energy audit. We had a couple questions after our last video uh, about the audit process, you know, what it consisted of, and so we wanted to clear that up by showing you, uh, you know, exactly what it is that a comprehensive energy audit includes. So coming up, we're going to be meeting with Joe Presto from Accurate Energy Audits. He's one of our uh, pre-screened uh, independent auditors that we work with, and he'll be taking you through each step of the energy audit, blower door, uh, infrared, uh, using the infrared camera, and a number of other things. So hopefully this will clear up uh, any questions you might have regarding the uh, energy audit. Can't pass the people, can't pass the hit man. Energy Audits is setting up his blower door here. He's outside talking to Kelly, and uh, he's getting all his things set up. And we were down in the basement looking at a couple of things. You can see the rim joists with almost no insulation. Uh, if you saw the video from our previous house, you saw how we sprayed it in here. But uh, you know this is going to be a major point of leakage. And like Joe typically says, that cobwebs are his friends here. And you can see, maybe. I don't know if you can see the video camera, you can see some of these cobwebs here. And that typically means that there's air leakage going on. Um, so I'm sure this is going to be an issue when we hit it with the uh, thermal image cameras. So as part of our inspection, we go up in the attic with Joe and he was just up here. But what you're looking at, it's kind of hard to see, is uh, what they have up here is blown in cellulose. Which is hardly enough, you can see there's only a couple inches of it. And this is really not going to do much to insulate the house. You can see there all around. So, um, you know, I'll talk to Joe and we'll see in his report and from the uh, thermal image camera photos, but we're probably going to need to add some sort of insulation in here. Probably just top off the blown in cellulose. Uh -huh. uh, so now we have the blower door set up here and Joe has got uh, the instruments that he uses to measure the airflow. And so why don't you tell us just a little bit about what this we do here. This is a digital pedometer and we're, we're figuring out the air change per hour, the flow rate of the air through the house, and the leakage area, the combined leakage area of all the leaks in the house combined into one number, which in this house, the house's case is 1.1 square feet of foot. And uh, so these are all the numbers that we're trying to reduce on the final Now, once this uh, blower door is running, we'll get the depressurization, depressurization in the house. It'll help us do other tests, such as a smoke pencil and infrared camera and right. stuff like that, right. which you'll see uh, coming up later. The infrared camera is so ineffective without the blower door running because you're, you're, you're depressurizing the house. You're forcing the air into the cracks, so they're very obvious. So now we're in the be in the uh, bedroom here, and we're working with a smoke pencil, and this just kind of helps visualize the leaks. So you can see that crack, and now you can see the air pushing the smoke. And this is something Joel will do around the house also to help determine where all the air is coming through. But this is just a good visual aid to show you exactly you know, where the air is and how coming much air is coming through. Right. Corners right here, and it's just screaming all the crazy. Yeah. yeah. The blower door running, and Joe here is looking with the uh, thermal image camera, which I don't know if you can kind of see. We'll get the photos and 
slice through here as well. But it where, shows, show, show, show the window here. Right. And so you it, see where the red dot is? Let's see. That show the red dot on the window there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's showing this leakage right here, the purple. Air is just pouring in there. Right. So we'll take a picture of that, record that. And then you look up here, this is where the attic hatch is. Right. And the cobwebs are my friend. This is an unweather stripped, poorly insulated hatch. You can see you that. You can just see the cobwebs just dancing all around. It's the air coming through. A ton of air. You can see on that camera. So now this is this is plaster, so this this is not going to show up like drywall though. Right. Plaster is much heavier. You like can here, look at here, look at the attic. We know there's like barely insulation, any insulation in the attic. You can't really see too well, but you can see the difference in the color. Yep, and that's what we're looking for. <laughs> so we'll go around the entire house with the blower door running. 